Hey everybody, Mr. Mall here. I'm here to lead you through the blood typing lab. So we're gonna go to labs, and what we're gonna do in the top left, in the drop down menu, you're gonna select blood typing. Mine is already there, okay? So pretty much what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be looking at, we collected the blood from the crime scene, now we gotta figure out who does it belong to, okay? So on the left, I'm gonna select a victim or a suspect. I'm gonna select Henry. I just like saying Henry's last name, Barr, Henry Barr, so I choose him, okay? Okay, so what we have here is we have three little circles, okay? Three of those, those are Petri dishes. Imagine there are three little cups that are sitting in front of you. Now, in a crime scene like this, Henry's a suspect, I would go get a warrant and go get his blood, okay? We would do a blood draw and he would give us his blood, okay? Now what we do is we gotta figure out what blood type he is because we want to see, does any of Henry's blood type match the blood type at the crime scene? It's not, doesn't mean he exactly did it. Let's say they do match. It doesn't mean he 100% did it. It just means there's a chance because there's not many blood types on this planet. I, there's a chance that some of us in the classrooms share the same blood type, but it narrows it down. It's a class, um, piece of class evidence, okay? So, what we have here is we have three petri dishes of Henry's blood, and we're gonna add one thing to each petri dish. The top one, we're gonna add anti-A. Middle one, we're gonna add anti-B. Bottom one, we're gonna add anti-RH. So, we're gonna go over what does that mean? What are these things? Okay, so what we do is to try to figure out what blood type is somebody, we actually put in antibodies to see do those antibodies actually become active and attack something? Okay, so let's go over that because you might be confused. I bet you are. So here we are. We got a table of the, the A, B blood types. Okay, we're not gonna talk about positive and negative right now because that, that adds in a whole realm I don't wanna touch for a couple minutes. Okay, so if I'm looking at A blood here, see those little red popsicles on the outside? Those are antigens, okay? so. These little things are antigens. They identify the cell, okay? They identify the red blood cell as A. All your cells in your body have antigens that identify. It's like me wearing my school ID. It identifies me. Even your B blood has different antigen, okay? Still has antigens, but a different type. A B blood has both, hence the name A B. O blood has none none of the A, B ones. Now, we're like I said, I'm not gonna talk about positive and negative right now, that does throw a wrench in everything, but O blood has none of the A or B antigens. I call it zero blood because it has zero antigens, okay? So, I'm gonna erase those. Now, what are those anti-A, anti-B things? Well, if you look right here, A blood has this thing called anti-B in it, and it's green and it's shaped perfectly to attach there. So A blood has antibody, or sorry, B antibodies, which means A blood will kill any antigens that are B. So if I mix A and B blood together, the antibodies in A blood will kill this, and it'll go bye-bye. That's why when we do blood transfusions, when we do blood donations, it's really important to know what blood type you are and what blood type we're giving to somebody. There's been mix up and it's been really bad. We're gonna find out in a sec. So A blood has anti B in it. B blood has anti A in it. So we can't give B blood to an A person and we can't give A blood to a B person. There we go, okay? A B blood, has no antibodies, okay? So we can, it, it, it's weird, but there's none, okay? It, like I said, it gets a little funky with that, all right? And then if we look over here, O has both A and B antibodies, okay? So you might be asking, then why is O the universal donor if it has anti-A and anti-B? Doesn't that mean that it would kill everything except for O? No, because if you look over here to the left, antibodies are in the plasma, which is the liquid. We actually separate that, okay, or you can, okay?
okay? So you separate the plasma from the actual red blood cells, the erythrocytes, they're called, okay? So now that we know what antibodies are in there, we're going to go and we're going to test them out. So I'm back here. I have Henry's blood. I'm going to add antibody A to his blood. Look at that, something weird happens, okay? Middle one, anti B. I'm gonna add antibody B to his blood. Oh, look at that, not too weird. Kinda looks like blood. Down at the bottom, anti RH. We're gonna pump the brakes, we'll talk about that one later. Okay, so now, let's look at these two. This top one looks clumped. That's a fancy term called agglutination. It means Antibody A attacked something. Antibody A only attacks one thing. Oh, anti A right here. They're red, so they attack A blood cells. So I know that Henry has A antigens in his blood. So I'm going to go back again. I know that Henry's blood has these little red popsicles, okay? Because the anti-A attacked it. So that means he has one of two types of blood right now. He either has A blood or AB blood. Those are the only two that have the A antigen, okay? If you're struggling with this, pause it, rewind, and watch it one more time. But what we did was we added antibody A which only kills A antigens. And what it did is it killed, it clumped. It's called agglutination. When an antibody attacks an antigen, it clumps up. So we know that Henry has the A antigen in his blood. Nothing happened when we added anti-B antibody. So he does not have the B antigen. So that rules out AB blood. So I know Henry has A blood. Okay, but that's not the end, okay? I have to do this bottom one. This bottom one just helps us figure out is it positive or negative. So I know that Henry now has A blood, but is he A positive or A negative? Well, let's click on it. Oh, look at that. Well, let's take a look, all right? So we added something that kills the RH antigen. Okay, we added RH antibody. It stands for Reese's. Comes from a monkey called the Reese's monkey, not the Reese's pieces. Okay, so when it's clumped like this, when it agglutinates, it means the antibody RH attacked something. So that means Henry is positive for the RH antigen. So that means he is A positive. Okay, so if this bottom one clumps, it means the A anti sorry, the plus antigen is there, meaning he has A plus blood or A positive blood. Okay? So what happened was I have this all mapped out. Okay, so I know he has A positive blood. Okay. I'm going to refresh my page really quickly because it's not loading down below and I don't know why. I'm just going to refresh. I'm going to go back to my blood lab. Sorry about that. Go back to Henry. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Once again, A positive blood. So now down here, what do I do? Anti A serum. Reaction. Yep. There was a reaction. Anti B serum. There was no reaction anti-RH. There was reaction. So, there was a reaction with A, so he's got A blood. There was a reaction with RH, so he's got positive blood. So I go here, I find A positive, and there we go. Dunzo. Okay? So, I would suggest go through all of these, and let's do one more. Alex Smith. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, look at that. We have three Petri dishes of Alex. Alexander, sorry. And we added antibodies A, B, and RH, and nothing happened. So what's going on? Well, what happens is 
if we add all these antibodies in there, the antibodies aren't attacking anything. That's why it's not clumping. Let's go back to our picture here. Well, if we look here, we see O blood has no antigens on the outside. So if we add antibody A and antibody B to O blood, nothing happens because there's none of these little popsicles on the outside. Okay, so I know based on just the top two, anti-A and anti-B, that he has O type. So I'm gonna go down here, anti-A, no reaction. Anti-B, no reaction. Now, the bottom one is also no reaction. When I added the RH, there was no, anti-RH, there was no reaction. So that means he is negative for RH. He does not have the RH antigen. So I know now there's no A antigens. There's no B antigens because none of the antibodies clumped up and there's no RH. So there's only one like that. That's O negative. Now if this bottom one clumped up but the top two stayed unclumped, then it would be O positive. But we're gonna leave it at O negative. So what you're gonna do is go through and find the blood types of all the suspects and victims. Then what you do is you go through the different types of blood that you found. I have not collected all of them yet, but I would go, so like blood droplets on an ax. Boom, boom, boom. Well, so right now, you guys get a little hint. The blood droplets on the ax are not Alexander Smith's. So that's a little hint. But you want to blood type all the suspects and victims, and then you want to blood type all of the pieces of evidence. And then what we can do is we can start narrowing down what's going on. Because if we can find that someone's blood type is on the X, then they got some explaining to do. Okay? So I hope that helps. If there's any issues, pause, rewind, go back. This one's complicated. All right, blood typing is not easy. Okay? Good luck and have fun.